I'm excited for today's video. We're going to be using the Pokemon Global Link team on the battle tree to rack up an insane amount of battle points. I mean, look at this. We got the Mega Salamence, we got a Ghost DMZ Aegislash, and then we have the Choice Scarf Tapu Lele. Pretty much all of those Pokemon can just slaughter the battle tree by themselves. And that's one of the things about this is that when you take a list of like the top five, maybe top seven to ten Pokemon on the battle tree or battle maze on, these are three of them. You just take some of the strongest Pokemon and you just go and crush it. So that's what I want to do this video on, just to see how effectively we can win on the battle tree with this team. And pretty much like you Mega Salamence, the Dragon Dance, and then you one shot everything. Or you bring in the Age of Slash and then everything still dies pretty well. And I feel like everything has an option. So you can just kind of win with it. So Mega Sal or Salamence is going to get the Intimidate. That's going to drop the attack right there. And then... Wait. What? Am I miss- wait. Am I missing something here? Why- why is there- why is there no Mega Evolution option on the Salamence? We just have Dragon Claw and all that stuff right there, because we do have- we do have the Salamence site. Okay. That's... kind of strange. Is anyone else- wait, is anyone else having this problem? Like, I'm wondering... why this isn't- work. I'm still good Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, and like, kill the Aerodactyl, because Aerodactyl is pretty frail. The Rock Slide, though, is, he is a faster Pokemon. He's a 130 pace speed Pokemon versus Salamence. Oh, man. Okay, so now we get the Outspeed, but I, I wonder if we're going to have enough to take out the Aerodactyl, because now Aerodactyl wrecks us, and we don't have the Mega Evolution, so we're going to get extra wrecked. Wh what is going on? Has anyone else had this problem? Also, that's a Scarf Aerodactyl. Good to know. I think I've seen that before on the Battle Tree. Man, that's amazing that the whole time, like, this team's going to be amazing, you're just going to sleep, no problems at all, and then everything's going to get wrecked. And then we get bodied by an Aerodactyl. But, I mean, we don't have our Mega Evolution, so I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, other than that, I'm thinking we... Yeah, like, we see Z-Power on the Aegislash, so... What could cause us? My only thought is that if you do a rental team and you don't have a Keystone, like, they just made a fresh event Pokemon account, and then they made the battle code for that, and then because they don't have the Keystone in-game, it doesn't technically become a Mega? That's about the only thing I could think about when it comes to this. Also, Shadow Ball and the Shadow Sneak, that should be enough to take out the Aerodactyl, and we're going to be good to go right there. So, Aegislash still put in the work. Like, Aegislash will will destroy everything, and then we can King Shield into Shadow Ball and Ghost DMZ, the last Pokemon. So, Aegislash still sweeps pretty well. But the Salamence... Did anyone test that? Am, am, I, am I the only one having this issue? I don't understand how this could potentially be happening. I had like this whole thing I was going to talk about because yeah, the level one Mim Mimikyu on the uh, doubles team, I can't wait to go out and run that. And also, uh, we have we have some crazy news guys. We're at 1.4 million battle points earned on the battle tree. So actually, I'm not going to have that like in the middle. We can go move that off to the side. But that's something crazy because when you think about it, this team is mostly for the kids that have no understanding of competitive Pokemon to give them a better chance at earning more battle points. But it looks like that doesn't matter anymore because we've already just destroyed the uh, the global mission so hard. However, this is still very useful. That if you want to get some battle points for yourself, watch me use this team. That, as you can see, I'm going to be able to get through some battles pretty quickly and earn a lot of battle points in a very short amount of time. Also, since you use that curse, now I'm going to be faster and I can absolutely wreck him on the uh, Ghost DMZ. So Ghost DMZ is pretty powerful. Let's go and watch. Uh, Z power. And we can also do it with the Shadow Sneak. If well, actually, that doesn't really change anything. Uh, we just go for the top never-ending nightmare, and that's going to be it. But yeah, uh, that's that's something I was thinking about. It's like, wait a second. This is also for the people that just need to earn battle points. Like, screw the global mission. Just use these strong teams, because like I said earlier, free Salamence, and I'm going to take that free Salamence, and I'm going to win a lot of battles. Now, this battle went a lot slower than I expected, because, you know, Age of Slash kind of has to reset after every turn. It still one-shot everything. And also, if you want to get more battle points, you should turn off the battle animations. I just have battle animations on because it makes the video look better, and somehow Armaldo survived that. Everything is falling apart in front of me, guys. I, I was expecting this to be, like, just a perfect, clean team. Also, I could have used Flash Cannon. Nah, I'm, I'm actually pretty sure that the never-ending nightmare does more damage than the flash cannon, but still That's crazy and, and then we also have it to where like by the time this video uploads We're gonna have 1.5 million battle points on March 1st and this started February 27th and like almost February 28th So we're gonna continue battling. I'm not expecting to lose anytime soon. I'm just gonna kind of go over 
the team and how we win and just kind of see what could give us problems if as long as we're not worrying about the mega salamence but that's that's something that really i don't understand so hopefully salamence will work when we're not getting completely scarfed right now that we're going to just mega or not mega we're just go dragon dance and then destroy the sharpedo hopefully the intimidate will help us out that it will reduce a lot of that damage and as long as we don't get immediately iced fang we should dragon dance dragon claw and Sharpedo will get killed right there. I'm going, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to tweet this out. And then I'm going to wait for a response. And with the Intimidate, we were able to survive. So it did have the Ice Fang into the speed boost. But we were faster initially. So we should still be good to go until we see an Aqua Jet or something. Which would be very unfortunate. But also, if we mega we'd get defenses. So, like, the Mega Salamence is, like, the one fault of this team. Because it's not a Mega right now. Alright, I'm going to pause... Tweet it out and see if anyone responds with, like, if they also don't have the Mega. Because I haven't heard about this, but that's, uh, that's some pretty, pretty silly stuff. And then we'll also be further ahead in the battle tree. Also, we did get a three-hit KO win victory or whatever. Like, we just, we just destroyed everything this guy had. So at least we got that. Salamence was able to win a battle. And that's what I mean. Every Pokemon on this team can win a battle individually. And that's kind of the best thing for the battle tree is that there's no strategy involved. You just bring overwhelming, insane amounts of power. And like it said on the uh, Pokemon Global Link account, it's like we have we have three of the strongest typings. We have Steel, Fairy, and Dragon, which everyone loves using. And they do cover for each other really well. That if I was to see a Fairy type hit, I just go into the Age of Slash and then blow it up with a Flash Cannon. And you just kind of play around like that until things happen. And technically, Age of Slash just kind of switches into uh, all of Salamence's weaknesses pretty much. And then we, we kind of win off of that. But then there's these other weird moments. Like Durant, I, I think it can just outspeed us. And then our Earthquake doesn't get to do anything to it. Double Edge would be a better option. So Mega involving with that Aerial 8 would be something. Yeah, Durant has that like 109 base speed, which is just strange. And we're not going to be able to do too much. Okay, so like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fish for an answer. I'm going to skip ahead. And then we'll see if we have a, a good thing. But overall, the team's powerful. It's just not as powerful. Oh my god. Somehow I actually managed to miss the cutscene for receiving the keystone. I, I don't know how I, I was able to make this happen, but I've been playing for three months and I have not mega evolved a single Pokemon and it looks like I'm the one that doesn't have to- I thought it was given to you at some point that you could not miss or skip or whatever during the storyline. Oh, you just get the Mega and then that's where you can buy Mega Stones. I was giving me I was giving Mega Stones by Red and I wasn't able to use them because I was like, wait, what happens if I buy a Scizor and I get the uh, Scizorite and I use it on it? Oh, I can't. That's, oh, uh, that's a little strange right there. So now we need to go into our Lunala, crush Dexio, Mega, or get like our Mega Stone, then make it to the battle tree. And then we'll be able to do it. I I actually do not know how I manage this one. And all I have to do is survive this Espeon. And then we can go and crush his entire team. Alright, so now we'll actually be able to see what Salamence does in full. And the interesting thing is that battle number three I did, I was still able to win without the Mega Salamence. So even regular Salamence is strong if you don't have enough BP to get the um to get the Salamence site. But now you already have the free battle team, so it doesn't even matter anymore. It's kinda like the weird thing about the uh the QR teams. Well, at least that might answer some questions. I feel like there's going to be a comment saying, My Mega Salamence can't evolve, please help, or something like that. Because when I got the, when I beat Red and got the uh, Mega Stones, it's like, oh, I don't have all my, I don't have my Blastoise on my Charizard from Pokemon Bank, and then I haven't spent any BP on any of the other Mega Stones, so there was just no way of me to know if I did or did not have Megas. And then Megas are banned in VGC, so yeah. I didn't think it was possible to skip that cutscene though, but apparently I managed to. So now we can Mega Evolve into that double edge, and we're going to see how much damage we can do to the Komala. And now this now this video starts to look real and make some sense. Okay. But yeah, pretty much like Mega Salamence is the ultimate MVP. Just kind of destroys everything on the battle tree, and then you go and win forever. So you do have to worry about a little bit of re recoil, but it doesn't look like it's much. And you don't even need a Dragon Dance in some situations, apparently. Can I just double-edge this guy, too? And the answer is yes. Okay, so now you get a free Mega Salamence to destroy all of your, just everything with. All of your opponent's hopes and dreams will, will vanish just like that. Except when it's a Rotom, because Rotom is fairly difficult to deal with. 
But yeah. So that's that's some fun stuff. And it's a double team Rotom, but it looks like I can still I can still two shot it. And then that's how fast you're in battle points, guys. Like that's how quick the battle tree can get if you have a super powerful team. So with a Pokemon Global Link, this is the new battle tree guide. Done. Uh, win battles by just like that. Get get the uh, Pokemon Global Link team and get the Salamons, and you're good to go. But yeah, as we showed, Aegis Slash can win. And then Top of Lele is just a fast Pokemon. So if you need a quick outspeed to dunk a lot of damage, you're going to be good to go. And I think the fastest thing that you'll see on the battle tree is like a speed, a beneficial speed nature Pheromosa. And because of that, the Top of Lele can actually outspeed those. Or there's some kind of weird stat breakdown or whatever. Salamence is just high speed, high attack. We already broke down the EVs in the last video, but this is some interesting stuff. Let's see how fast I can take down this trainer. Because if not, already shows, like, I'm getting two battle points per battle from the start on super singles, and I only need three to go and uh, get my five rare candies. It seems like this was way too easy of a challenge, not even because, like, we crushed it so hard, but just because of how, how quickly we can get everything else set up. Now, that's actually going to be a problem, because Jolteon is faster than us regardless, but we'll just hit the Earthquake and win anyways. Jolteon. Okay. So yeah, gets a Thunderbolt, or wait, that's not a Thunderbolt, it's Thunder Wave. Oh no, Thunder Wave is a disaster. So that's like the one troll you'll see on the, the battle tree that a lot of Pokemon just have Thunder Wave, or some way of making your life difficult and frustrating, but we'll still, we'll still manage. We'll still get through this one, guys. Brings out the Lucario. Lucario, it can't one-shot us, so then we just hit an Earthquake. Yeah, it's just got it's got a simple little Dark Pulse. No Mega. Oh! Oh, we're getting Paraflinched, though! Look at that teammate Paraflinch. We got, we got Flinch, we got Paralysis, I still get my Earthquake. Uh, Lucario dies anyways, because, like, that's the crazy thing about Salamence, that, you know, it gains so much on the attack, and then you just hit a super effective hit, and you have enough to KO. Or you don't even need a super effective hit because you get that much insane damage out of the double edge. And we were still, besides the shenanigans, we were still able to uh, make it work. So payback, not going to be enough to KO Salamence on the crit. Uh, double edge, enough to knock out the Absol. And that was three hits, three KOs. So kind of showing how good these Salamence is. And it's pretty much what I expected. Uh, you can just kind of go through the battle tree, use Dragon Dance, mash A, and then you're done. And if something goes wrong, you have your two other Pokemon to help you out. Like, if you see a scary Fairy-type Pokemon that you can't deal with, that's when you switch into the Age of Slash. And after that, you just go into Tapu Lele. So, free team, free battle points. Uh, now you can go and get Mega Stones for yourself and then use them. And just in case, now you know how to get the uh, the Mega... The, the Keystone that you just go to the Pony Ruins. And then you go to the right. And then the cutscene triggers. And somehow I skip that. So, there we go, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you all have a nice day, I'm going to be trying out the doubles team next.